I don't know about you, but I am starting to feel that itch. The slightest little cool breeze on the back of my neck and I immediately start thinking about chasing these majestic white-tailed deer and making memories in the woods this season with friends. I am excited, but one of the most important things I believe we have to do is dial in our system. Check out our gear, make sure we have it ready to come efficient. Welcome to Gear Season 2024. What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Revive Outdoors. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for watching. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the Saddle Eye. Um, I think it was designed to have a phone in here so you can film your hunts. I think there's gonna be way more things that you're gonna be using it for, especially right now. I'm sweating, mosquitoes are biting me. I think this will be really good for any of those devices that keep the bugs away. Um, we are going to dive into uh, how you put it together. It comes, uh, it comes in a couple pieces, super easy to put together. Slap on your tether and then attach it to your bridge. And then we'll go through some of the functionality behind it and how easy it is to move it around. And then last, I'll just give you a demo of how it attaches and you would use it in a hunting scenario. But a uh, really great device. Jacob, uh, who designed it, really just solid person out of Louisiana. Anna. He is friends with our friends at Buzzard Roof Saddles and just all great people all the way around. If you've been to the Mobile Hunters Expos or any other shows that they're at, they're just great human beings and uh, I love being friends with them. But Jacob has designed this saddle eye to attach to the bridge and your carabiner. So for saddle hunters that are out there watching this, whether you are wanting to use it for uh, watching football games in October and November while you're hunting or scrolling through Facebook or TikTok because we know you do it even though you want to say oh i got in the woods to hunt we know you're doing it so just admit it be okay with it buy the saddle eye and you'll be happy uh, we have a discount code all caps revive as always with all of our content that you can use for a discount on these saddle eyes but i know since we have left doing the first video we only have a, a few hundred views on that video i don't know why it hasn't taken off yet because this is probably one of my favorite products of 2024 um, but out of those few hundred orders several of you have already put in orders for these every time he goes to an expo he sells out he was in between nights at the expo in Georgia. He was making more of them because so many people saw it, came up and bought it. But he is a, a really good guy and uh, he is working really hard to hand make these right now. He's looking at some manufacturing uh, different setups, but right now he's making them by hand. So true American made right in your hand, saddle eye. But let's go ahead and dive into the assembly instructions and I'll show you how quick it is to put together. Okay, so I wanted to start by showing you the pieces that it comes in. It's going to come in this bridge attachment piece. It's going to be off that ball and then this little piece here that attaches the ball to this bendy uh, rod, I guess you could call it, uh, is detached. The rod is detached and then the same thing over here for this ball head to hold your phone or uh, anything else in it. Uh, I obviously am filming with my phone, so I'm gonna use my rechargeable uh, battery pack today from Dark Energy, have a link for that. If you want a discount on those, uh, they, they give you free shipping. Those are in super high demand. Uh, last I checked, they're making tens of thousands of them and they are selling out really quick. Uh, I have a separate episode on that where I shot it with the shotgun, really crazy. But uh, all that being said, it's just three or four simple parts. So one, two, three, four, five. So five uh, simple parts you kind of just put together. Uh, you just use this little thing, tighten it down on the ball and then on that uh, flex rod and then the same thing over here. So really easy to put together, but that gives you an idea when you're putting it on your bridge, you're gonna mount it just like this right here, and then you can adjust it to where it goes out to your left side or your right side. You just adjust this piece in the back, and then whatever you're wanting to hold will be there. Uh, I'm sure that Jacob, as he progresses, uh, being a brand new company, I'm sure as he progresses, he'll have all kinds of different mounts, but uh, this right here is a, a really good way to hold just about anything. Um, whether it be uh, something to repel the mosquitoes and bugs or it be your phone or a GoPro or a Insta360 like I use. But just want to show you that real quick, show you how easy it is to assemble. And then now we'll move over to the tree. 
Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Revive Outdoors. If you're not familiar with us, we're a nonprofit based here in Alabama, and our mission is to make a positive and eternal impact through conservation. The way that we do that is we take brand new adult hunters on one-on-one mentored hunts. To date, since late 2020, when we started Revive Outdoors, we've taken 303 brand new adult hunters on one-on-one mentored hunts. Out of those hunts, we've seen 37 people come to know the Lord through salvation in Jesus Christ. And then we've also seen 97 people be referred to mental health services to take their next step towards getting help in the mental spectrum, not just the spiritual one. And we've also raised about $6,000 this past year to go to families in needs in our local community. So we're making a huge impact and we're thankful for people like you watching today's episode and helping with that. For the companies that you see on these episodes, they play some part financially and gear in different ways to provide for us as a nonprofit as well. So be sure to use our codes. They track those to see that you're going and buying their products from our videos. So we're super grateful for them. And then our three legacy sponsors are Spartan Forge, Buzzard Roost Saddles, and Native Sense. If you're not familiar with them, Spartan Forge is an AI-based technology. We actually use their technology in their app. So they have typical uh, maps that you see in your other platforms, but then they also have this AI deer movement prediction that has helped us harvest a lot of our deer from this past season. We use that day in and day out as we're running these ministry hunts. In addition to that, we also have Native Sense on board. They are a deer urine based company. I use them for a lot of my mock scrapes. They both have real deer urine and synthetic depending on what your state allows. And then Buzzard Roost Saddles, they're saying is we ain't fancy. They're born out of the swamps of Louisiana and they are some good guys that are making a really good quality saddle. So we're grateful for those three legacy sponsors. We thank you again for watching and we'll get back to this episode. As you move on over to the tree to attach this, it is really simple. Uh, I have a carabiner that has tape wrapped all around it because I do not like anything making any noise. Uh, so it's a little bit more difficult for me personally to get this in here, but you're simply just gonna push in. You can see even with my taped up carabiner how easy it was. And uh, something you can do is you can leave this on permanently, throw it in a backpack uh, with your tether so you always have it attached. You don't ever have to worry about forgetting it. Um, that's something that you can do. And then when it comes to attaching the bridge, you're just gonna attach your bridge like you would normally to your carabiner there so boom you're going to tighten it down and then it is attached there you go and then uh, when it comes to putting these in you're just going to push down your line or your uh, bridge there and then pull it over into each side so again you're just going to push in from that top kind of pull down at the same time and then you're going to pull over to that side and there you go the saddle eye is in there let me grab this rechargeable battery pack and uh, we'll talk about how uh, different ways you can configure it for your hunts again today we are going to imagine that this is a cell phone it's about the size of a cell phone if you're not familiar with dark energy it has the usb usb c and then it has a flashlight over here on the side um, when you hit that flashlight, it does solid on, and then it does SOS, and then you can turn it back off. Uh, on the bottom side, it has an attachment method, and then you can click over here on the side at any time and see what the battery life is. You can see right now it is fully charged. Um, but when it comes to using the saddle eye, if you're wanting to sit here and say you are filming for shorts or you're filming uh, for just vertical footage for reels, then you can be just a couple of swipes away from having your camera. A lot of the phones uh, have it to where you can go, well actually all of them have it to where you can go into the settings and it recalled the last settings that you had it in. So with an iPhone, I can set it to 4K, you know, 60 feet per second, and then I can put it in video mode. And then when I lock the phone, I come back to the camera just within a couple of button pushes, it automatically puts it right there back in video mode. And so you can have it here, you can turn it horizontal if you're wanting to do something for horizontal footage like YouTube. And then what's really neat, wherever you position this, it's gonna move with you and it's gonna record. So what I would do is I would turn on the camera and then I would just move around and make sure it's at the exact place that you want it you could move this over so your camera if you want it in a wider angle lens you can move it over so it doesn't get the saddle eye in the way so you can do that and you can see how it moves with you and when it comes to you know getting your bow off the tree you know getting it around attaching it you're going to be out of its way 
anywhere that you go as long as you're keeping the proper form. And so it's gonna be really neat to have that. And then what I would do is I would say, okay, this is where my form is specifically with my bow. And then I would take and I would adjust this based off where I'm gonna be aiming. So then you could bring it back around and you could be aiming wherever the camera is aiming, you're aiming. That way you can match those two up. So I would just hold your bow out or practice your form, however that looks like for you. And then if you're a lefty, all you'd have to do is move this over to the other side and do the same exact thing. Real quick adjustment here. You're just gonna loosen the back end up and then you can just move this bendy clamp around. I've got it really tight right now, so there we go. Loosen it up, tighten it back down, move this as if I was a left-handed shooter. And then I'm gonna have this over here ready to go just like that. So it'd be the same thing. You'd wanna make sure that you got your aiming point down and then you're good to go. Shooting a rifle, you can put it on your right side and you could aim it back around there. You could take and put your, your uh, tether rope out of the way. You could actually even put your tether in between here so it's staying between your legs so it's completely out of the camera view at all times so you can put that camera however you want to there for when you're filming uh, but let's talk about the things that most of you are probably going to buy this for and that's going to be for your uh, mosquito devices if you wonder why i keep saying mosquito devices it's because i've never used one of those and i cannot think of the name of it right now so someone please comment and tell me what the name of that little mosquito uh you know deterrent uh, device is i can't think of what it's called but uh if you're sitting here and you are in your saddle and like most of us uh, don't lie if this is uh, not you unless you're someone that hunts where there's no service but you're sitting here doing this right here you're scrolling 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 <gasps> did i hear a deer did i not and then you go back to scrolling 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 and the next thing you know you have a buck under you at 20 yards and uh you can not have to worry about taking this off of here putting it in a pocket trying to fumble around with it you can just leave that right there if you're watching a football game in the fall this year and you're just sitting there watching it you know you got it turned sideways you're like man i'm really enjoying this i'm away from the wife i'm away from the kids i'm away from the boyfriend the husband the whoever you're out here enjoying god's nature watching a football game and you're like oh there's a deer all you gotta do grab your bow pull it back and shoot you don't have to worry about letting that go so it's a really awesome design product i think it's going to come with multiple uses for uh, people like me who want to record with the insta 360 that's what i'm going to use this for is recording with the insta 360 as my secondary footage so i'm going to have the main camera attached to the tree with the camera arm and this is going to be really good for that secondary footage with the insta 360 or a 360 type camera if you're not familiar with it uh, what's really good about that is at different times when when you go back into the editing you can have it looking at you you know looking up into your nose hairs or you can have it looking out as a secondary angle from your main camera say that something's happened and you're not able to get your main camera where you want it you can use an insta 360 put it right here in front of you and you're always going to get that shot on footage it might not be as good as your main camera but at least you have something uh, there's been times where i've been in that situation where i'm just thankful that i had uh, one of the tactic cams or I had an insta 360 or something recording at some point in time uh, maybe you don't hit the record button properly on the camera and in the moment you don't realize it till after but at least you have this right here but uh, that's pretty much it on the saddle eye it's a very easy system very well designed product when it comes to removing the saddle eye uh, it's even easier than it is putting it on you're simply just going to uh, detach from each of those bridge spots that you attach to and then if you're wanting to take that carabiner off you know you're just going to turn it sideways push it out and then you can throw this in a pouch or a pocket but uh pretty neat product just want to say kudos to jacob for designing something uh, really grateful to have good friends like you and for those of you who are watching that are just wanting to support good people making really neat products for our industry be sure to use that code revive for your discount so that way jacob knows where it came from he would be greatly appreciative of that but uh again awesome product I'm excited to hear the different ways that you're going to use it. I'm excited to hear who's going to comment first on telling me what that mosquito thing is called. And then 
I uh, am excited to see some uh, some feedback and uh, some people say, hey, I saw your video, I bought this, I filmed my first hunt and uh, harvested my first deer on camera. Uh, that's going to be really neat to hear, so be sure to come back and share that with us, uh, either through YouTube, or Facebook, or Instagram. But uh, thank you again for watching today's episode, and we'll see you on the next one.